Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a brand new video. So I have just had a very exciting delivery, which I'm sure by this little clue here, you already know what this is. So this is the High Sapientia brand new dual air fryer, which I have been waiting for for around a week now. I've been really patient, just waiting for it to arrive and it finally has come. So today we are going to unbox this together, have a look at how it differs from their air fry oven, which is right there behind me. And I use that one all the time. I'm sure you already know by now. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this one differs, if it comes with any different features. Of course, we know that it is a dual air fryer, but I believe it can also be used as a normal air fryer oven as well. So let's get this unboxed. And then in this video, I'm going to be sharing some recipes that I'm going to be filming over the next few days using this air fryer and showing you the results of the food so you can compare to my previous videos if you like the look of the way it cooks things and things like that. But I'm sure it's going to be brilliant because I mean, we've got proof right there. Their previous one is the best one I've ever used. I absolutely love it. So I'm super excited to use this one as well. So let's get this opened up and let's get the air fryer out. So we finally got this out of the box and as you can see this is what the air fryer is looking like. It is a black colour with silver accents and it's got the functions here at the front. So I'm just going to turn this box around just so we can have a look together um, and see what it says. So I'm just going to run through what it says on the box. So multifunction air fryer, air fry, broil, steak, fish, rotisserie, pizza, toast, bake, dehydrate, unfreeze. So there's just a few other bits on this here showing you that you're using less oil, it's energy efficient, it's fast, easy to clean, it has a large capacity, there's a temperature probe in there, stove lamp, two times high speed fans, stainless steel and double insulated glass. And this is the 22 litre um, dual air fryer. And over on this side, there's just images of different foods that you can make in this air fryer. I'm going to be making lots of different things. I just need, like I said, a few days just to try out different things. And yeah, I'm gonna try and uh, make different varieties so it's not all kind of the same thing so you can see how it does. Now let's get the air fryer out of this box. Okay, so after a good old wrestle, we've finally got it out of its box. So I haven't touched anything. First thing I'm going to show you is some of the accessories that it comes with. Looks like it comes with quite a lot, to be honest. So let me just grab the manual so I can actually tell you exactly what's in here. Okay, so first up, you've got loads of like leaflets and things like that. So you have the cookbook, which we did receive in the air fry oven as well. And this just has lots of tips and tricks and recipes in there for you to try out if you want to. Um, next up, it just gives you a little bit of a breakdown on the functions and what they mean and how to use them. Um, you have got your user manual again. And then also you do have a standard one year guarantee and a one year extension. So they do pop that in there as well. I guess you just have to fill this out um, and get that registered. So that's all of the like paperwork. Now for the accessories, let me just say this has a ton of accessories. So we're just gonna pick things up and kind of figure out what they are together. So I recognize some of these things because I have them anyway. So you've got this little heat proof glove so that you are protecting your hands when you are taking trays in and out of your air fryer. There is also a basket. So straight away I can see that the size of the basket is different from the one previously. That was I think a little bit longer. This is more of a square shaped basket. Then we do have a rack and we also have a rotisserie rod with the little ends for the rotisserie. Okay, so next we have this item and I presume this is kind of the separator that goes in the middle there if you want to use it as a jewel and you can remove it if you want to use it as is. So that's actually a really cool idea because normally you either get an air fry oven or you get a dual air fryer. You don't normally get two combined into one, which this is. So I guess this could be really helpful for times where you do want to split it and use it as a dual and then other times where you just want to use it as one air fry oven 
And yeah, you can do it either way, which is really clever. The next thing you get is a baking tray, which again, really handy for different types of foods. I honestly roast a whole chicken on here and add things like potatoes and veggies around the edges and it's just the perfect size, so really handy. Then there's actually more inside the air fryer, so let's see what these are. Okay, so, uh, okay, so when you split this air fryer into a dual basket air fryer, then you do actually get the thinner baskets to fit, as you can see. And do you know what? Even though they are quite thin, they are a really good size, I think. Um, so when I change it into a dual, I'll show you how that fits. But yeah, you do get two of those for that reason. And then once you're using it as a normal um, air fry oven, you can actually just use the bigger uh, basket. So yeah, you get two of those. Then you also get two of these trays, which again, you use when you're using this as a dual air fryer. Um, and they are such a good size. I could really see two portions fitting in here, no problem. Um, so yeah, I think these are gonna be really interesting to try out. And then finally, you get two racks as well, again, for when you want to use this as a dual air fryer. So basically, they've provided everything that you need for either using it as a dual or using it as one. So that's brilliant. You get lots and lots of different accessories for that. So now I have just brought you in closer so we can have a look at this um, on the outside. So it is a beautiful matte black, as you can see, uh, with silver accents. So you do have the dual doors, so you can open them both if you want to. And the inside is actually really nice. Now it seems that this would be super easy to clean. So with the other one, you do get a drip tray, but on this one, I don't think you do but the material seems really easy to clean, which is good. It's also super bright in there with the help of the little lamps that are provided on the inside. So now let's have a look and see how you would change this into a dual air fryer if you wasn't to use it as just one air fryer oven. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use this divider and I assume it just goes, yeah, it just slides right in nice and easily and now this is a dual air fryer and then just to show you the accessories everything that you get fits perfectly with the dual sides so of course you've got your racks then you get the trays as well so pop both in there and finally you do get the baskets as well which i'm just going to pop in the top so as you can see, there is plenty of space for you to cook different foods. Um, so this is a really clever way of doing it. You know, you can change it up anytime you want. And it's super easy to insert this divider as well. It's not hard whatsoever. It goes in really nice and easily. And yeah, I think I'll be able to cook lots and lots of different things um, with this air fryer. So at the top here, there is a warning sticker which you do not remove. It just gives you warnings such as the cord plug should not come into contact with the backside of the oven. So you wanna make sure there's plenty of space as well. The air fryer oven will be hot, so be careful. Also, any of the parts that you're taking out and you're removing after this has been in use, you wanna be super careful and use your silicone glove because it will be super hot and just things like that. So it's just a warning to remind you to be super careful when you're using it. And now I just want to point out the front panel. So it is switched on and plugged in, but the only thing that you can see is the actual power button. So I'm guessing when I press that, everything will light up. Otherwise it's just nice and dark and you can't actually see anything, which I really like. So it is touch screen, whereas the previous one was buttons that you could press. And over here, you've got all of the options. You've got the air fry, broil, steak, fish, rotisserie. You've got your little lamp function there. Pizza, toast, bake, dehydrate, and unfreeze. And then you've got basket one, basket two. You've got here is a manual button. So I'm guessing you press that and you adjust the temperature as you can see here. And then this one will be for the time. So super easy and straightforward um, to use. There is a start and stop button right here as well. So if you just want to press that, it will start. Again, if you want to stop it, 
you just need to press it again and it has actually paused it and then over here you do um, have an all sign and that's basically you press that if you are using this as one compartment and not two so if I didn't have the divider in the middle, I wouldn't need to press one or two. I'd instead press all and that will just apply for the whole air fry oven. So yeah, this model does look really sleek. I feel like the matte black is really, really nice with the silver accents. I also love the fact that it's got glass doors. Um, glass doors are honestly so good because you can see the food cooking inside while you're making the food it just saves you opening and closing the doors so glass doors are very similar to the previous one because the air fryer oven um, previous to this has also got a glass door which is super handy so that is the new high sapientia dual air fryer oven so because i have just received it like i said i need to test this out before i can do a full-on review for you guys so i can't tell you whether this is great or it's not so good i can't tell you right now because I haven't tried it. So what I'm gonna do is over the next few days, I'm going to try out different recipes, like I mentioned. I'm gonna try them using the dual compartments and the full compartment all in one. And we're just gonna see, is it fast? Does it cook food really well? Things like that. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna give it a, a review towards the end of this video. So please stay tuned if you wanna see what I made in this and how everything turned out and if I recommend this or not. But I have to say I do have high hopes for this because I am just so impressed with the one that I already have, the air fry oven. I love it. So I assume this is going to be just as good, if not better. So we are going to find out together. So I hope you enjoy the recipes I'm going to show you now and I'll see you at the end for a full review. So the first thing I'm going to be making in this new air fryer is some chips, of course. So I've just cut up some potatoes, I've washed them as well. And now I'm just going to start by spraying them with a little bit of spray oil. And then we are going to move on to seasoning. So I'm just using this chip seasoning. It's the paprika and onion flavor. It's honestly so nice. Then I also added some garlic granules, gave this a quick toss, a quick shake. And now these are ready to go into the high sapientia air fryer oven it's the dual air fryer oven so i'm going to pop it onto the baking tray that comes with the air fryer oven which i have just sprayed with a little bit of oil i'm just going to evenly um, spread them out on the tray add a little bit more oil on the top and then these are going in on the middle shelf and for the settings it was my first time using this so i switched it on pressed the all button which is what you use when you're just using it as one compartment temperature turned up to 200 degrees celsius and the time i actually increased it to 25 minutes and then yeah i just let this cook away so i did come back around halfway just to check on my chips and this is how they were looking. They were actually looking pretty good at this point. So I just carefully turned them all over, sprayed a little bit more of that oil on top and left these to continue cooking. And this is what they looked like when the time was up. I just served them along some steak. And honestly, they were really, really nice. I have to admit these chips were super tasty. They were super soft inside and cooked thoroughly. And yeah, I would definitely make chips again in this new air fryer. Now for the next recipe, I'm starting off by making a marinade using some yogurt, some perinase, this is the hot version. Next we are going in with some good old mayo and then lots of seasoning. So I'm using the chip seasoning again, I'm using garam masala, I'm going in with turmeric, I am going in with some dried coriander, some salt, medium curry powder, we've got some garlic granules, we have got some black pepper, I'm also adding in some of this tandoori masala. We have also got some paprika powder. And then I'm adding in some of this roast seasoning. It's one of those that you get in the packets. And then a big handful of fresh coriander. I know that's a lot of seasoning, but honestly, everything mixed together makes the best marinade. So I'm going to be adding this marinade over the top of these humongous um, chicken legs that I've got. So I've got four of those. I'm just going to top with the marinade, make sure it's all rubbed in really well. And now let's cook these up. So initially I did cover with some foil, but if I'm honest, I took the foil straight off um, as soon as I stopped filming this clip. 
so again i press the all button and for the temperature i just turn that up to 200 degrees celsius and for the time i turned it up to 30 minutes and then we'll come back when we're halfway through so when i came back this is what the chicken was looking like so i decided to obviously put them back in because they're nowhere near done but i did just adjust the um, temperature a little bit so i turned it slightly down to 190 but then i increased the time and i put it back up to 30 minutes again because like i said these chicken legs are pretty big so i wanted plenty of time to cook them now i am back again to check on the chicken which is looking so so much better so at this point i just carefully turn them over and pop them back in to finish up cooking and here they are completely done i just served them on a bed of mexican rice with a little bit of cucumber and yogurt sauce on the side and to be honest again this chicken did cook really well considering how big it was it didn't take as long as i thought it would and it was really soft and juicy on the inside now on to the next recipe we are going to be making the juiciest seed kebabs so i've got some lamb mince and i'm going to add some chopped onions to that then i also chopped up one red bell pepper and now let's get to seasoning so i'm starting off with some salt we've got some pepper dried coriander and um, we've got some turmeric some paprika chili flakes seek kebab seasoning again these packets are so amazing and then a massive handful of fresh coriander now you just want to mix everything really well until your mince is fully coated in all of those spices and seasonings and next up we are going to be using these metal skewers um, which I got with one of my other air fryers and all you're going to do is just pop the skewer in and just form a seat kebab I like to also flatten them out a little bit as well until they look like this so here they are I've popped them all onto the tray with some parchment paper underneath I'm just going to spray with a little bit of oil and then these are going in so I pop them in on the middle shelf and for the settings so again i'm pressing the all button which you use for one compartment and then i decided to use the broil function for this one it's already set at 180 for 20 minutes so i just left it at that i came back around halfway through and this is what the kebabs were looking like they were just sizzling away and they look really good so i just flipped them over and popped them back in um, and i let this cook for a further 10 or so minutes I did however change up the temperature so I turned it up to 200 and for the time I actually increased it to 15 minutes sorry not 10 and yeah I let them go I came back and this is how they were looking again they looked so much better when they were turned up to 200 actually so that is the better setting flip them over one last time and let them finish cooking and here they are all done and let me tell you this was my favorite recipe that I uh, made in this air fryer these kebabs were so good i actually ended up making these twice in the same week they were so full of flavor they were juicy they were not dry whatsoever trust me all those ingredients that i added at the start really do play a part in the taste and the flavor so this is what they look like on the inside and i believe i am just going to break one in a minute just to show you how tender and soft the meat was but yeah, these were 10 out of 10 and I would highly recommend you try these. Now moving on to the final recipe for the video, I've got some chicken breast that I've just sliced into strips. I'm going to be adding this air fry southern fried seasoning that I picked up recently. I just added a load of that on there and then I just sprayed the chicken with some spray oil. Um, we're keeping it quite simple today with the seasoning. Like I said, it's a new seasoning so I wanted to try it out this is what the chicken was looking like. So we're using the dual side of the air fryer today. So with these baskets that you get, I just added some parchment paper and then I just loaded them up with the chicken. I actually used two of these baskets for the amount of chicken that I had. And I didn't kind of put them in a single layer. I just loaded them up as they were. And like I said, there's two of these baskets. So a lot of chicken is going in next up these two trays that come with the air fryer i added some melted butter to them both because i'm going to be cooking my veggies in these so i've got some parboiled carrots and parsnips going into one tray 
and then I've got some parboiled potatoes going into the second and I was actually surprised how much I actually could fit in these they look really small but I managed to get quite a lot of veggies in there now for seasoning I'm going to add some roast potato seasoning to the veggies and then I also added a little bit of that seasoning that I added to the chicken um, just for extra flavour because why not and then my veggies were ready so let's pop everything into our air fry oven so I popped the chicken on one side and then the veggies are going into the other side so this is the beauty of having a dual air fryer where you can cook things separately so now for the setting so the first thing i'm going to press is number one for basket number one temperature i adjusted that to 185 and for the time i turned it up to 30 minutes now basket number two i chose the broil function for this side the temperature I adjusted to 190 degrees Celsius and time I um, put it up to 30 minutes again like the other one and I let this go. So I came back after a little while just to check on everything. So this is what my potatoes were looking like. They had started to brown a little bit and here's the parsnips and carrots. I just flipped everything over and then I did change um, the basically just I put the potatoes at the bottom this time and the parsnips and carrots on the top just to change up where they are and then did the same with the chicken and left it to cook for a little bit longer we are back again after a while this is what my potatoes are looking like everything was cooked at this point so let's plate up so I'm starting with my buttery potatoes then we've got the parsnips and carrots which are my favorite then here is the chicken and then next up I did make a little bit of peas to go along with everything and then we topped with some gravy and this dinner was actually super delicious everything did cook really really well and I'm just going to show you very quickly that everything was cooked thoroughly it was really soft and yeah I would highly recommend so that brings us to the end of this video where we tried out the High Sapientia dual air fry oven and yeah i've tried different foods in there as you saw and i'm ready to give you a full-on review and a lowdown of what i personally feel and think about this air fry oven so the first thing i'd like to say it is a brilliant air fry oven just as good as the previous one that i have mentioned multiple times um i love the look of it i love the design i love the color everything is really nice and sleek so i do like the actual appearance of the appliance itself i also think it's such a clever idea where high sapienti have actually combined two components together so you can use this as an air fry oven and you can use it as a dual zone air fry oven so with the foods that i made i did find this very easy to use the functions are pretty straightforward there's nothing complicated about it and I love the glass doors so I could actually see my food cooking through them. However, as you probably did see with some of the things I was cooking, I wasn't too sure with the settings. So I had to come back a few times and change the settings, maybe turn up the heat, turn it down, add on more time and things like that. But that's only because I don't really know this air fry oven. It's something new. With practice, of course, you will start to familiarize yourself with this and it'll be so much easier as you use it more often. The other thing I want to mention is that stainless steel interior is really easy to clean. It just wipes away so easily. The air fry oven that I have over there, I absolutely love it and it's still my all time favorite, but I think if it had the interior that this one has, it would just be a lot easier to clean. For this one, I just literally wipe everything away, whereas the other one does require a little bit of scrubbing if you leave it a little bit too long in between cooking things like I did. So that kind of is my own fault at the same time, but I do prefer this interior. So personally for me, I was using this more so as just one compartment as an air fry oven. I only used it as a dual towards the end where I made the veggies and the chicken at once. Um, but that's basically, I think, because normally when I cook dinners and foods and things like that, I like to just bake everything on one tray rather than having it in different ones. I also do own dual air fryers, so I find that for me, if I need something to be cooked in a dual air fryer, I already have that. But for someone who doesn't have a dual air fryer or you don't have an air fryer oven, 
and you're thinking which one you want to go with, I would say this is a great choice because as I mentioned, this has two compartments that you can merge into one. You can use it as a dual or as an air fryer oven and it just makes it so much easier. It obviously saves you from buying two different appliances because they have made everything so much easier and just combined everything into one. But with the foods that I did cook in this, everything did end up turning out beautifully. As you saw, everything was cooked really, really well. So I am impressed with this new appliance that High Side PNT I have come out with. But I didn't expect anything less because like I say, they have made a previous version, which I absolutely love. The only thing I want to mention is that this one is a little bit smaller than the previous air fry oven. So for me personally, that one is much more suited for me and my family because there are four of us. But this I think would be perfect for maybe two or three people because it is slightly smaller. So I did find that that was one of the things that I was reaching more for my old air fry oven rather than this one. But like I said, if you're a smaller family, it's just you or there's just a couple of you, then this size would be perfect. So I think I have rounded everything up as much as I can. Of course, if you've got any questions and you think I've missed something out and you want to ask me anything, just leave your questions down below and I'll be sure to answer you. But as always, thank you to High Sapienta for letting me try out their newest model. Honestly, it is really good. So if you are interested, I will leave a link down below for you to go and check it out for yourself. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you really soon in my next one.